12% of time spent in apps is spent in games, but over 60% of all money spent in apps is spent in games. And that's a hard statistic to ignore. We think that video is the most compelling medium for storytelling. And with some of the new technologies that have come out in recent years, we can incorporate interactivity into that. So with all of the new things that are coming out of the market with like machine learning and AI, combining that with storytelling and interactivity, I think we've got a really great opportunity to deliver messages in a really new and compelling way. The main challenge that we're trying to tackle right now is that TV spots don't necessarily translate well to in-app mobile video 100% of the time. A movie trailer or a cinematic 16x9 doesn't necessarily fit into the ecosystem of mobile apps. So how do we take the learnings from our performance advertisers, the ones that are really uh, performance driven, and uh, tailor their message to replicate something that's similar to our other clientele? A lot of our business is performance. We're mutually invested with our advertisers. We want to drive installs, we want to drive really quality users for our advertisers advertisers. In order to do that, we need to be masters of storytelling in the mobile in the mobile environment. When we look across the industry, there's a lot of problems with ad blocking, there's a, there's a lot of problems with like lack of engagement, but that's those are things that we don't deal with in gaming because gaming is such an immersive um, it's such an immersive experience. So we try to continue that into the ad experience and then take that user right back into the app. Our core clientele, the performance app install clients have a very easy time measuring success because we have integrations with the, uh, the attribution partners, the tunes of the world, the app stars of the world who are there, they see an install or they see a sign up and that's a closed loop, right? So as we move brands into the mobile space where metrics aren't necessarily clearly defined, we are presented with a challenge of how do we define that. The solutions are getting there. I think it's something that is a challenge. And I think getting the brands there is, is a something that we're all very excited about, especially as a company, as we can, like I said before, take those learnings as a performance company and apply those to a brand ecosystem or a brand lens and help them figure it out together. You look around and you just see that, you know, the, a guy going to Wall Street is on his phone playing Hungry Shark World and the grandmother's going playing solitaire and, you know, you have a millennial on his way to school who, who's playing who knows what, but, you know, there's, there's definitely a broad audience that I think we are addressing, but that is one thing that I definitely hear a lot is that my audience isn't on mobile games and I would, I would refute that with the data and uh, say that that's not necessarily true. Ultimately, we're a, a, a very, I guess, sought after channel in, in mobile right now. Mobile video, specifically mobile in-app, is something that brand advertisers are really trying to figure out and grasp, but I think our performance side of our business where we're driving conversions for performance advertisers is really the bread and butter and that's what keeps our advertisers coming back because if they're working with us and we're not performing for them then they go elsewhere so we've really kind of fine-tuned this craft of delivering conversions through various uh, levers that we pull creative and things like that to uh, drive performance for our advertisers and knowing that we're a, a, a mobile first company taking that and applying it to a brand lens and helping them understand how to drive in-store sales or you know drive web page views or high completion rates stuff like that has really allowed us to translate from a pure performance company into a more brand performance company as well